Hey everyone, Brian here, your Honest Mechanic. Today's video is all about detecting symptoms of a bent valve. A bent or damaged valve is bad news for your engine. The valve and seat need to form an airtight seal in order to contain compression and allow proper timing of the combustion cycle. When a valve gets bent, it can't seal, closes late, causes leaks, and all sorts of problems. So, how do you know if you have a bent valve? There are a number of common symptoms to look out for. Now, not all bent valves are immediately catastrophic. Sometimes a minor bend may only cause subtle changes, but the damage tends to compound over time. That's why you want to address it right away if bent valve issues come up. The first and most telling symptom of a damaged valve involves power loss. Compression leaks right past the damaged valve, reducing cylinder pressure and output. You'll notice the engine bogging down under throttle, especially at higher RPMs. Acceleration will be sluggish at best, and over time the loss in compression leads to an overall loss in horsepower that you can really feel behind the wheel. In addition to power loss, a bent valve can also lead to some very rough idling. Idling problems are most pronounced after the engine is already warmed up. As the engine turns over at operating temperature, damaged valves struggle to seal properly, allowing compression to bleed off, causing erratic vacuum pressure in the intake manifold. The result is unstable RPMs fluctuating up and down at idle. Misfiring is another issue stemming from bent valves. This one is pretty straightforward. The valve isn't opening and closing properly, preventing air intake and compression. This leads to sporadic misfiring in the damaged cylinder or cylinders. You'll feel this as strong pulsating vibrations in the cabin at idle. It's not smooth at all. Along with vibration and shuddering, bent valves can also lead to some abnormal engine noises that will definitely get your attention. With the valves not sealing properly, there is potential for the pistons and valve components to actually make contact with one another. This leads to a horrific clicking or tapping noise, perfectly timed with engine speed. You'll also likely notice excessive valve train noise in general, with the damaged components no longer staying put properly. Most modern vehicles have engine control modules that monitor engine performance parameters. Significant compression loss as well as misfires are detected and trigger error codes and the check engine light. Common trouble codes associated with bent valves include P0300 through P0308, pointing to cylinder misfires along with low compression codes like P1351 through P1354 depending on cylinder. Oil consumption presents another issue stemming from valve damage. Faulty valve guide seals will leak oil right into the combustion chamber. Even minor damage leads to leaks. The oil burns off slowly at first until major smoking and oil usage results. You may also notice oil collecting around damaged exhaust valve guides causing fouling and oil dripping from the engine block. That brings me to the next obvious symptom. Smoke. Burning oil, noxious fumes venting from compromised compression, even coolant mixing in from a related head gasket failure can all lead to smoke pouring from the tailpipe. Usually, it's a distinct bluish-gray color pointing to oil origination. White smoke signals coolant leaks. Not the kind of vapor you want to see, it's never normal or healthy. If you suspect or confirm a bent valve, the next question is how severe is the damage and can it be repaired? There are a few ways this could go. Best case scenario is a minor tip bend or warp not requiring extensive repairs. Valve adjustment and cleaning may suffice, though chances are further engine teardown will be required to fully inspect the components at play. A lot depends on accessibility to the valves themselves. Interference engines with tighter clearances often require cylinder head removal, making access easier but also increasing complexity. Non-interference engines allow more room for in-car service at times, though the damaged components still need proper inspection. With all this mind, I recommend inspection and repair by a certified professional. Properly setting valve lash clearances along with confirming operation takes experience. The last thing you need is newly bent valves following incorrect assembly. And that doesn't even take into account potential valve and seat resurfacing needed not exactly DIY work. Well, I hope this overview gives you a solid understanding of the most common bent valve symptoms. Thanks for watching Honest Mechanic. I'm Brian signing out. Let me know in the comments if you have any other valve train topics I should dive into. And don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more repair videos just like this one.